when I get in a room with John and our producers and they're talking, we're gonna have Toby and his Spider-Man and we're gonna have Andrew and his Spider-Man's gonna be there. I was like, no way. All right, let's do this. Let's Oh, I think I can repair Dylan and Marco, but the others, um... The idea that they are all the same thing and they could all come together and sort of help each other, that to me felt like it was part of the DNA of the story that we were already trying to tell. And that gave me an entry point to actually get them together so that it was a story element and an emotional thing. You're okay. I got gotcha. you. I gotta go. Yeah, yeah, I got it. You okay? They grow and they change and they evolve from different writers to different artists. In the case of the films, different actors. That's why the Marvel characters have persevered so long through the decades. And then you have the fun of starting to pitch it to the actors and doing something that is worthy of their time and of their energy and stepping back into this role. I had butterflies in those meetings with Toby and Andrew, hoping that they would sign up. This is Peter Parker's, Peter Parker's, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. There are other me's from another dimension. This is the wizard that I was telling you about. We're all very secretive with our films, but on this one, it's been challenging because we have people that we are trying to keep secret. It's extremely hard to tell some of these actors, hey, don't go to the grocery store. <laughs> we have six people that we've been trying to keep secret. Whenever Tobey Maguire was traveling from base camp to set, we put this huge cloak on him. <laughs> he looks like the emperor from Star Wars. <laughs> I say cloaking is no joke. We cloak him up. The minute they step out of their trailer, they're on set, they could take it off. We had a situation where one of our actors got hurt and had to go to the doctor. He gets there, and lo and behold, the doctor got a selfie with him. And so we had to track that doctor down. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Tom, Zendaya, Jacob, and John. It was like me and Toby arrived and all of their arms were just kind of open in a way that felt respectful, really caring, really loving, and gave us a lot of freedom to create what we wanted to create. Crawl around. Crawl around? Do it. There was just such a kind of open-hearted coming together and embracing of each other and supporting each other. It was really beautiful. So we all share something that no one else really understands. And I think for the three of us, it was so nice to be able to share that with someone. I can still hear her voice in my head. She told me that with great power comes great responsibility. I knew that whatever happened, it would be really interesting to see these three guys together. Even if it was a total failure, it would at least be an amazing document of a very strange thing that happened. What? Three use. So hopefully it's not a huge failure. <laughs> this is great for the great for the EPK. It's all about a different aspect of playing that iconic character that people love. But they love all sorts of different ideas about that character. And I think that's what all three of these actors have been able to do. To see Toby and Andrew and Tom form this bond and friendship. It was incredibly moving. I feel like I need to introduce these guys to Strange. Right. Who is this guy? Where's the box? The, the box is down there. I had to leave it down there because Electro electrocuted us. That's what John Watts told me to say. <laughs> I can't deny there was always something in the back of my head of like, gosh, it, it ended a bit abruptly for me. I heard the idea and I was like, I want to see that. I want to see that on screen. And it resulted in this very, very beautiful experience where I got to have a bit more closure on something that means so much to me. It ties back into the big themes of the movie about getting a second chance. It really happened for him <laughs> in this movie. Are you okay? It was important to make sure that these characters weren't coming back for the gimmick of having three Spider-Mans in one film. They had to come back and have a purpose. Their purpose is to help my Peter Parker not make the same mistakes they did. Working with Andrew and Tom was really dear to me. It really was special. Well, I got Connors. I already cured him once, so no big deal. 
Oh, it's no big deal. Yeah, you're a lab stud. Thank you. I think I can... <laughs> <laughs> It's fun to look at all of the movies and see what their moves are, because they all have their sort of signature poses and their signature moves. Why does that look like Toby? Beyond just the suit, like what is the physicality that identifies him? What is the physicality that makes, you know, Andrew Andrew? What makes Tom Tom? Each actor plays Peter differently, as you would hope. To choreograph the action, when you have three guys who look pretty identical <laughs> swinging around, it's going to be hard to keep track of them. OK, Peter one, Peter two. Peter two. Peter three. Peter three. Right. Um, three, two, one, boom. Toby, he's definitely older, but still wiser, so he has very good ideas. He was the planner of the team. Got to cure all of them, right? Andrew had more of that dark side. He's a lot more agile, acrobatic. Oh, us! Hey there, oh. Tom Holland, we really wanted to portray all the hardships that he's seen and all the battle that he's encountered in Endgame and Infinity War and really make it very visceral and a little darker than you've seen in past Spider-Man movies. <laughs> They're all so good to have those three brilliant guys together and having fun. It was a dream. The last night we were filming, there were definitely a lot of tears shed. I just burst into tears because it was like your whole life. I feel like they were my three sons through different periods of my life. Oh. All right, one, two, three. <laughs> I love them both very much. And to work with them and to see them in their suits, and to laugh and joke and swap stories about their experiences and my experiences is honestly the highlight of my career. All right, I gotta go find Ned and MJ right, there. Go, go. I guess, I guess I'll see you. Get out of here. I'll see you later. All right. You know where to find us. <laughs>